Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, if it is your first time here. And in today's video, we are going to be doing one of those little like makeup collection videos. Not like showing you my makeup collection, but like picking a topic, picking a topic, <laughs> picking products that fit into that topic. So today's video is going to be if I had to get rid of one product from each category in my collection, what would I get rid of? And I went through my collection, picked it all out. Some of these I actually am going to be decluttering after this video, and I will let you know what those are as we go. But for now, let's just jump right in. I'm gonna go in the order that I do my makeup. So the first category is eye primers, and if you've been here for a minute, you sh this shouldn't come as a surprise. It is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I don't use this on my under eyes. It is so dry and thick and cakey, but I've been using this as an eye primer for a while now, and it just won't die. You can see how little of this I have left, and I'm currently now working my way on using up this ring on the outside. If someone was like, get rid of an eye primer, it would have to be this one. The only other eye primer that I actually even have in my collection is the Alomar Cosmetics Pedo Primero Eye Primer, and I love that one. So this one would be out of here, for sure. Next we'll do eyeshadow, and I actually picked two for this, and one of them I am getting rid of. The one that I'm getting rid of is this little PYT Beauty Quad. It is the Day to Night Cool Eyeshadow Palette Quad, and I'm getting rid of this. These are just not my tones. It is not the most amazing formula in the world. The shimmers aren't very, you know, metallic and vibrant. They're kind of just a little bit lackluster. They kind of just look like mattes, and the mattes actually are okay, but I just have stuff that I like better in my collection. So it's like, why keep this around? So that's the first one that I would get rid of. And then this one might come as a shock because I feel like recently on my channel, I've been raving about this. And this is not to say I don't like this product. I do like this product, but there's like very specific reasons why it would have to be my Ciate London, the Velvet palette. And that is because I got this one in a boxy charm and ended up liking it, which is great. There's not a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I get in boxy charms and ipsies and stuff that I end up actually liking. Almost every other palette in my collection has been something that I have purchased or have wanted and like have put on a wish list, asked for for Christmas, for my birthday, something. So I feel like every other palette I have like an emotional connection to. And I had the, the whole like, I'm going to buy this palette. Okay, let me place the order. Let me actually spend money on it. And then the whole like build up of waiting for it to come in the mail, the excitement of unboxing it and the excitement of playing with it for the first time. So I like have connections to all the other palettes in my collection. And while I do enjoy this palette and I'm not getting rid of it, I'm keeping it in my collection. I don't have as much like history with this as I do the rest of my palettes. I think like, that's kind of a toss up. If truly I wasn't cheating and I was only getting rid of one, I probably would get rid of, I, it probably would still be this one. I was gonna say this one, but this one was actually a gift from my mom. My mom got it. Not, she didn't get it for me, she gave it to me, but it's just like not my cup of tea. So sorry mom if you're watching this. But it probably still would be this one, even though, again, I really do enjoy this palette. I have like a liquid eyeliner that I wanna talk about. And this one, I think again, my mom actually gave to me. She got it in an Ipsy and wasn't gonna use it, so she gave it to me, and I'm just not a huge fan of that. Or this. <laughs> this is the Sugar Cosmetics Wingman Waterproof Micro Liner. It's an okay liner, but it is a felt tip and it has a very small, precise tip to it. So it is nice for doing a wing, but I found that this has been drying out super quickly and it's just not like the most enjoyable experience to use. Like I have other eyeliners that I actually enjoy using. So it would definitely be that one, but I am going to keep that one. This is another one from my mom. <laughs> I feel like I'm sensing a theme here. Maybe I should stop accepting makeup from my mom. 
And it's also from the same eyeliner brand, the Sugar Cosmetics Stroke of Genius Heavy Duty Coal in Purple Rain. Now, this is a stunning color. I don't have an eyeliner like this in my collection. It's like this deep, deep, warm toned purple and it is so pretty, but this does not stay on my eye. And that's literally it. It just does not stay on my eye. Like wherever I put it, it immediately comes off. And quite honestly, it's annoying. Like even that, that came off of my hand so easily and it just bothers me. So that'd be out of the collection, but I am keeping it only because I don't have another color like it in my collection. I think if I picked up another eyeliner from a formula that I do actually enjoy, I probably would get rid of that, but it's the only color like that that I have right now. For mascara, I would be getting rid of this only because it's waterproof and I'm not a huge fan of waterproof mascaras, but that being said, I'm keeping it because it is the only waterproof mascara that I have, so I know it doesn't make any sense but in my mind it does this is the Tarte lights camera splashes mascara I think maybe it also has to do with the way that it makes my lashes look it doesn't make them look awful but it doesn't make them look as good as I wish they would look you know does that make sense so that's probably another reason why I would get rid of it but also just because of the fact that it's a waterproof mascara and I just don't typically love waterproof mascaras purely for the fact that they are so difficult to get off which I know is waterproof that's kind of the point but it just bothers me I don't want to sit there scrubbing at my eyes for eight years to get my mascara off I only have like an eyebrow gel that I want to talk about for eyebrows and see the thing with this one is that like I don't like it but I have hardly used it and I don't want it to go to waste even though it was like so cheap so like I shouldn't be having this struggle but it is the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Transparent Mascara and I can't remember who I saw talking about this but someone a few months ago was talking about how this used to be their favorite like brow gel back in the day and I was like huh I've never thought of like using a clear mascara as a brow gel and so I picked it up to give it a shot and it just does nothing for my eyebrows. <laughs> I have like very thick hair and like thick eyebrows and I just found that I would like put it in and then they would immediately fall down and like I even have another clear mascara that I've since purchased and used for my eyebrows and it works so much better than this one so it's not like a clear mascara issue it is a Maybelline Great Lash Clear Transparent Mascara issue. For face primer I love a moisturized glowy base and because of that I would have to get rid of like the only pore filling primer in my collection actually that's a lie I have two other ones but one is just like a little sample so it kind of be pointless to get rid of it if it does the same thing as this one and I could only get rid of one I would get rid of the bigger one because it's less product that I would have to use up does that make sense <laughs> And the other one I actually do enjoy for days where I need my makeup to actually last all day. So the one that I would be getting rid of is the Benefit Pore Professional Pore Primer. This was, is, I don't know if it still is, back in the day it was literally like everyone's freaking favorite primer and I know that like makeup trends and makeup preferences have changed a lot since like 2016 2017 but why do people like this <laughs> like the feeling of applying a pore filling like silicone based primer to my face genuinely makes my skin crawl and makes me want to like throw myself out the window like it is just a I hate that feeling so why did so many people love this and like at, this baby's full like I have not really used this like it's pretty full of product so I might honestly just give that to my sister I'm pretty sure she actually really does enjoy that primer which is like so strange but and then the foundation that I want to talk about <laughs> from a brand that I'm not supporting which is one of the reasons why I would choose this one but this is the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation I always have a really hard time saying that name because it just like is a lot of shh <laughs> sounds and it just my mouth has a hard time doing that but I know I've talked about this before and not enjoying it but the reason why I don't like this is because it makes my skin look dry and I don't have dry skin I actually am pretty oily so the fact that I apply this to my face and if I look up close it looks like scaly and flaky and gross and dry 
Like, I just don't understand how that happens. <laughs> like, this is so bad. The only way that I can get it to work is if I mix it with something really glowy. So, like, think the Say Beauty, like, Glowy Super Gel or the Auric Glow Lust. And on top of that, I have to apply it with a sponge. And I just don't typically love applying foundations with a sponge. So I am going to be keeping this just because this was freaking expensive. But one, I don't support this brand. Hourglass is low-key trash. They make some really good products. But as a brand, they are trash. <laughs> and this product is trash. Like, it does not look good. I have to, like, work to make it look good. For concealer, I have the... Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer. This is seriously so close to being done, which is why I'm not getting rid of it, just because I want the satisfaction of using this all up. But it's kind of for the same reasons that I'm getting rid of this. This makes me look so dry. And I just don't understand because one, I have oily skin, so I'm always like pretty moist on my face. And two, I always prep with really moisturizing, glowy base products. So I just don't understand how, when I put this on, it ends up making my under eyes look so dry and thick and like cakey and gross. And none of my other concealers do that. <laughs> so again, it's not like a me problem. It's not a, my under eye problem. It is a Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer problem. So I don't really enjoy this. This powder I'm going to talk about is actually currently in my Shop My Stash. And if you keep up with my Shop My Stashes, then you'll know what it is. A cult favorite. I bought this because of Patrick Star. And by saying that, you might know what it is. It is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I have been using this for like two weeks like straight now. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because this one that I have is pretty old it's definitely like at least three years old but one it's so heavily fragranced and it just like always gets in my nose and irritates me but also it has been making my under eyes look like thick and cakey and heavy like when I put it on my under eyes it just is not a good look and it's been like pretty hard to apply I will go more in depth and like show close up of it in my next shop my stash where i'm like updating my thoughts and feelings on the products that i had in the past rotation but this is just not very good anymore for me this next one i would have to get rid of not because it is a bad formula not because it's a bad product because i actually quite enjoy the formula but it's the color <laughs> And this is the Ofra Banana Powder. Listen, I got this in, I think, a BoxyCharm. And the formula is really good. It's nice and smooth. And it isn't, like, blurring, but it doesn't accentuate anything, which is kind of just what I look for in a face powder. But it is a banana powder. If I am not, like, unbelievably careful with this, I look so yellow. And it's just not a good look. If I could do anything over again, it would be to like purchase this <laughs> myself but in a color that isn't yellow and in a color that actually was made for my skin tone because very clearly this was not the bronzer that i would be getting rid of is actually a cream bronzer and it is the trustique color and contour cheek stick cheek cheek stick in the shade brazilian bronze i put it here on my hand i am not a huge fan of this color the formula on this i actually quite enjoy it feels very silky smooth it almost feels very silicone like which is crazy because i was just talking about how much i hate silicone primers but something about this feeling like a little bit more silicone-y makes it apply so beautifully to the skin it is quite pigmented and intense so i do have to be careful when i apply it but it is like very yellowy olive and it just isn't the best color for me and so i just don't really enjoy applying that to my face i'm not gonna get rid of it just because i love cream bronzers and my cream bronzer collection isn't that big but i think if i did expand my cream bronzer collection i probably would end up getting rid of that one this is cheating again i know i would get rid of these two blushes for the same reason hear me out hear me out i know that i literally like just use this 
in I think my three looks one palette and then the other one is like Natasha Denona how could it be bad but it is the same reason that I'm not the hugest fan of these these don't have a lot of base color to them and as you can see they're very like different colors this one is supposed to be a little bit more bronzy and warm tone this one is very very cool toned but the issue with these is is that they don't have a lot of like base color it's really just shimmer so when you apply it to your face these work wonderfully and look beautiful as blush toppers, but if you want to wear it just as a plain blush, it just doesn't give you much. I actually am wearing the Natasha Diamond and Glow Duo Glow blush as just a blush on its own today. And like, you can see it gives me a little bit of color, but it's really just glow. And the glow is pretty, but if it's marketed as a blush, I just want it to have some color to it, you know? And last but not least, it's not last but not least, it's last but not least for like cheek products. This is the Trusty Mini Highlight Stick in the shade Maldives. This I would get rid of only because it was kind of hard to pick a product for this category. I feel like it's difficult to make a bad highlight at this point. And so this isn't bad. It's really not bad and it actually is like really pretty. But I guess the reason I would get rid of it is because it isn't super, super reflective. Sometimes it looks like it's kind of just like a white stripe on my cheek, but also just like compared to the rest of my highlighters, this one is just not, it doesn't live up to their standards. So that's why I would be getting rid of that one. And those are literally the only reasons. Now moving on to lips. I have multiple things for every category for lips. But the first one would be my Thrive Cosmetics lip liners. I just got these in an Ipsy and I don't like dislike the colors or anything. I would get rid of these because of how slippy they are. I know that I've talked about this a few times now recently, but I want my lip liners to like have a little bit of stick and firmness to them so that it helps prevent my lipstick from wearing off as quickly. These ones are just so slippy and glidey that like they just wear off with my lipstick really quickly. So they're not my favorite. I do like the colors. I think that the colors are pretty, but the formula is just not my favorite. For lipstick, I have again two that I'm talking about. These are ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. I love this formula. I have the shade Rave, which is this orange that Kathleen Lights created with them, and the shade Alyssa, also something that Kathleen Lights created with them. I freaking love both of these colors, love this formula. The only reason I would get rid of these is because I have had them for so long. <laughs> I've had this one probably five years. I shouldn't be putting it anywhere near my face, but I still do. They don't smell good. They smell pretty awful. I'm not getting rid of them because I love both of these colors so much and I don't think that ColourPop makes either one of them anymore. I don't think they even make this formula anymore. So I'm not getting rid of them, but I should <laughs> just because of how old they are. And then last but not least, we're going to talk about lip glosses. And I feel like people could literally try to like hunt me down and like assassinate me for this, if I'm being honest but I would have to get rid of my three Pat McGrath Opulust lip glosses. And hear me out, they just don't really fit my preferences. These are very like metallic lip glosses. I love a sparkly lip gloss, but I like a sparkle, like a nice subtle sparkle. And sometimes I even like more of an intense sparkle. But these ones are just like basically straight up metallic. And again, I'm not getting rid of them because I like having some Pat McGrath products in my collection, but like they are just straight up metallic. Sometimes I just feel like it's a bit too much. And so for that reason, these are the ones that I would be getting rid of. And you can't hate me for that because it's just my opinion. And that's all I have to say on the matter. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I feel like, I feel like I'm getting rid of more than I thought that I would. And I'm actually probably gonna get rid of this highlight. Let me see if I can just like throw anything else out. Maybe I'll get rid of this e.l.f. blush too, just cause it's like broken. I've basically panned it. Oh, but then it's like, do I wanna keep it just to keep, try to keep and use it up? No. No. I feel like I'm getting rid of a lot more stuff than I thought that I was going to get rid of, which is good. 
<laughs> if you enjoyed this video, I hope you will give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe before you go. And hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.